Good morning, good morning. So I like to get my classes started with a small meditation just to get a little bit grounded and just to feel a little bit more connected to our own space, to our yoga mats. So you can begin with your legs crossed or your legs can be lengthened here. Just make sure your sit bones are firmly on the ground and your spine is lengthened, sitting up tall. We'll gently close our eyes, letting your hands either fall over the knees or gently land on your thighs with gentle fingertips here we'll take a deep breath in the nose and we'll take a deep breath out the mouth just beginning to disconnect from anything that may be surrounding you anything that may be distracting you And begin to give yourself permission for the next 50 to 60 minutes to really be present here on your yoga mat. To really be present and carve out this space for yourself. Be fully present with your heart, be fully present with your breath. noticing the different sensations in your body right now just begin to notice any part of your body that you are carrying a little extra weight a little extra tension just to notice what is your body trying to tell you And give yourself that full body scan from head to toe and just wiggle out any part of the body and release any of that tension. So maybe your jaw is clenched, release the jaw, wiggle out the jaw. Relaxing the forehead muscles. Letting the shoulder blades melt down the spine to release any tension in the neck, right where the neck and the shoulders meet can gently rock the head side to side. Letting go of any tension in the belly, just fully breathing through the belly. Wiggling out the fingertips, the toes. Just begin to let go, begin to release anything you're holding onto today. I wanted to share this Thich Nhat Hanh quote that I read. I felt it was very fitting for today's theme to create space and to bring awareness to the light and the darkness within opposition between good and bad is often compared to light and dark. But if we look at it in a different way, we will still see that when the light shines, the darkness does not disappear. It doesn't leave. It merges with the light. It becomes the light. So the darkness merges with the light. It becomes the light. We feel into that in your body. What does that mean for you? How can you begin to transform that energy inside of you into light? Beginning to release. In order for something new to come in, we have to create space. 
we have to let go of something for something new to come in. Begin to notice the rising of your belly as you inhale and the sinking of your chest as you exhale. Maybe you notice the sensation just right above your top lip as you breathe in and out. Begin to build a deeper breath here. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Expand the belly. Take a deep sigh out the mouth. Take advantage that you are in your own space here. Deep breath in the nose. Deep sigh out the mouth. One more deep belly breath in. And deep belly breath out. We'll begin to seal our lips. We'll take an inhale through the nose and exhale out the nose. On your next inhale, begin to bring your belly button in and closer towards your spine. And as you exhale, bring your chin a little bit closer towards your chest here to create a restriction at the back of your throat. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out the nose. Keep that breath going. We're cultivating something called an ujjayi breath. This helps build energy and heat throughout your core center here. Three seconds in. And three seconds out. If you find your thoughts going elsewhere outside of your yoga practice, outside of your yoga mat, use this breath to always bring you back into the present moment. As we inhale, we'll just begin to tilt our ear over towards the left shoulder. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, bring the head back to center and exhale, drop over towards the right shoulder. Take an inhale and exhale. Slowly bring the head back into center. Begin to drop the head back, bring the chin up towards the ceiling, still lengthening the spine, deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring the chin in towards your chest. Press the spine away from your, press the shoulder blades away from your head here. Inhale, chin up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chin in towards the chest. Take an inhale, drop the ear over towards the left. Take an exhale, drop the head back. Inhale, ear over towards the right. Exhale, chin in towards the chest, opposite direction. Inhale, ear towards the right. Exhale, chin, drop the chin up. Bring the chin up towards the ceiling and exhale, drop the ear over towards the left. Sometimes my words just, you know. Inhale, bring the chin in towards the chest and exhale, release. Come back to your neutral spine here. Just rock the head side to side, still gently keeping the eyes closed. Inhale and exhale, just bringing awareness to the neck, releasing any tension where the neck and the shoulders meet. Come back into your neutral spine. Take an inhale, sweep your right arm up. Begin to catch the back of your head. Tilt your chin over towards the right shoulder. Press that left shoulder away from the head. Breathe. Slowly release. We'll switch sides. Take an inhale, left arm up. Catch the back of the head. Drop the chin over towards the shoulder. Left shoulder. Deep belly breath in and deep belly breath out. Press that right shoulder away from the head. Breathe. 
slowly release here take an inhale swim your left arm underneath the left We'll come into some eagle arms here. You can just place the forearms together or interlace all the way, bringing your fingertips on the palm of your hands. Take an inhale, bring the elbows up towards the ceiling. Maybe your thumbs meet your forehead and the shoulders press away from the head. Try to gaze up towards the sky. Inhale, slowly exhale, round out the spine, bring the chin in towards the chest, release the forearms down to the ground. Awareness to your lower spine. Make sure the shoulder blades are wide across the back. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly release and rise. Release the arms. Sweep the left arm underneath the right this time. Forearms meet or interlace all the way. Inhale, elbows high. Thumbs to the forehead. Shoulders away from the head. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, round it out, forehead down to the ground, forearms to the ground. Rock the body side to side. Bring some awareness to the lower spine and breathe. Slowly releasing and rising, placing your hands in front of you, swinging the legs behind you into your tabletop position. Stacking the shoulders just right above the wrist and the hips just right above the knees. You can tuck your toes for support here. Take an inhale, we'll press the belly low down towards the ground, tailbone up towards the ceiling. Begin to draw a line with your nose up towards the sky. Take an inhale into a cow pose. Exhale, round it out, press your chin in towards your chest, tuck the tailbone in. Maybe you try to gaze towards your navel. Take an inhale and exhale. Inhale, sink the belly low, tailbone up, gaze up, cow pose. Exhale, round it out, chin towards the chest and hold one deep breath in. One deep breath out. Slowly coming back into a neutral spine, we'll sink the hips back, lengthen the arms into a child's pose. You can bring the forehead on the mat. Give yourself a little forehead massage, rock the body side to side. Take a deep belly breath in, deep belly breath out here. Take an inhale, begin to lift the hips up. We'll be on our knees for right now. Bring your right hand to either your right heel. You can place that right hand on the hip bone if that's too much for you. Bring the left hand either on your belly or lengthen the left arm above the head, half camel pose. Take an inhale, open up the heart. And as you exhale, sink the hips back, lengthen the arms into a child's pose. Inhale, lift the hips and rise. Place that left hand either on your calf or the back part on the left side. Lift your right arm, gaze up towards your thumb. Inhale, half camel pose. And exhale, sink your hips back into your child's pose. Hold for one breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly rise back into your tabletop. You'll begin to tuck the toes, lift the knees, press the hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, bending into the right and into the left knee. Inhaling and exhaling, staying with your breath here. Gaze towards the belly button. Take an inhale. We'll begin to lift the heels. And as you exhale, press the heels down towards the earth. If there's a lot of weight on your wrists, shift some weight towards the heels here. You can bend into the knees for some support. Press the ears away from the shoulders. Press the shoulders away from the ears. You can rotate the shoulders out. Create a suction, suction cup sensation on the inside of your hands. Gaze towards the belly button. Breathe. One more breath. Inhale, begin to look towards the fingertips and exhale, walk the feet all the way to the tip top of the yoga mat, keeping a bend in the knees, sway the body side to side, ragdoll pose. You can shake the head yes and no, release, let it go here. To the feet and rise one vertebrae at a time, rounding through the spine, letting the head be the last thing that rises. We'll meet in a samastiti, standing posture, either hands by the side here, palms facing forward, or one hand above the heart, one hand above the belly, gently close the eyes. Take an inhale, release and let it out your mouth. 
if you practice setting an intention for your yoga practice, this would be the place to do that. Or you can simply show yourself gratitude and appreciation for being here today. The journey of a yoga practice is to bring awareness into our inner space, into our heartbeat, into our thoughts, into our being, into our way of being. So it's not about the final posture, it's more about how we go into each posture. I want to invite you to just notice how you move in your in-between. What can you do differently to begin to release and let go of the old to create space for the new? We'll lift the toes, spread the toes and begin to release and grip the ground. Make sure all four corners of the feet are activated here. Engage through the thighs. You'll lift the kneecaps just a little bit higher. Press the tailbone gently forward. Small engagement through the glutes. Press the shoulder blades down the spine. The top of your head presses up towards the ceiling. So even if we're standing, it's still a very activated posture, keeping the sensation throughout each posture in your practice today. Take an inhale, begin to sweep your arms up, overhead gaze towards the thumbs, fingertips will touch. Exhale, release and swim the arms back down around you. Good morning, stretch, inhale, swim the arms back up, gaze up towards the fingertips and exhale, begin to peel through your left side. Gentle fingertips. You can gently close the eyes if you want. Inhale, come back to center, gaze between the hands and exhale, peel through your right side. Hold, take an inhale. Exhale, come back to center, lengthen the arms overhead. Maybe this time they go behind your head, behind the ears, bring the chest up towards the ceiling, small little back bend, inhale. Exhale, release the arms, melt the chest towards the thighs into a forward fold. Bring the hands onto the shins. You'll lift the body up halfway, press the sit bones back as the crown of your head presses forward, inhale. Press the hands on the mat, step your feet back. Drop onto your knees for a supported plank. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, sink the hips back into your child's pose. One breath, inhale. And exhale, inhale. Shift back to that supported plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Keeping the hands right by the chest space. Engage through the side body. Press the elbows in. Take an inhale. Press through the palms of the hands to lift the chest into a cobra. Exhale, release into that forward fold drop the head down to the mat press through the hands and inhale lift the chest exhale release back forward one more inhale lengthen exhale release begin to tuck your toes here you'll press through your hands take an inhale lift the chest and lift the knees up off the mat for a supported upward facing and as you exhale hinge at your waist press back to your downward facing dog take your three breaths here gaze towards the belly button ujjayi breath your belly button goes in and towards your spine ocean wave sounds at the back of your throat we'll begin to flow through that just a little bit faster here together Stay connected to your breath. Notice your in-between. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, you can walk or jump it forward. We'll inhale, lift up halfway. We'll exhale, forward fold. Gaze between the thighs. Press through your feet and rise. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Gaze towards the thumbs. Exhale, release. Swim your arms back down. Inhale, press the feet down. Arms float up. Gaze towards the thumbs. Fingertips touch. Exhale, peel through your left side. Inhale, arms towards the center. Lengthen. Exhale, peel towards the right. Towards the left. Sorry. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen arms back to center. Arms float behind you. Small little back bend. Exhale, release forward fold. Drop the hands. Make them heavy towards the ground. Lift up halfway. Inhale. 
Take an exhale, press back into that supported plank. Take a deep breath in here and exhale, sink back to your child's pose. Hold for one breath. Inhale, shift back, supported plank. Exhale, lower towards the belly, cobra. Press through the palms of your hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forehead on the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, lift, hold. And exhale, release all the way down, tuck the toes press through the hands lift the chest inhale lift the kneecaps off the mat support it upward facing hinge at the waist exhale press back downward facing dog take three inhales take three exhales so waking up the spine moving in whatever way you need right here in your downward facing dog We'll take an inhale, and as we exhale, drop down to the knees, sink the hips back, lengthen the arms, child's pose. Take a deep breath in the nose. Take a deep breath out the mouth. Slow down your thoughts here. Reconnect to your intention. Clearing space through each inhale and exhale. Reconnecting to the breath and the heart. We'll slowly rise back into our supported plank and press back into your downward facing dog. Take an inhale, we'll begin to look towards the fingertips and exhale, walk the feet forward. Try to lengthen the legs this time. Lift up halfway and exhale, forward fold. Maybe you hug your legs closer towards your chest. Just give yourself a big squeeze here. Releasing the arms, make sure your feet are hip width apart. Bending into the knees, we'll move on to Siri Namaskar B. Bend into your knees, sink your hips, sweep your arms up into a chair pose. Lengthen arms overhead, try to gaze up towards the thumbs, take an inhale, and as you exhale, sink the hips just a little bit lower. Embrace the shake, embrace the burn, good morning body. Fingertips press high as your feet press down and grounded towards the earth. Hold and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to the heart space. And begin to release and forward fold. Breathe it out your mouth. Take an inhale. Sweep back up into your chair pose. Grab a hold of whatever you're holding on to and exhale, release, forward fold, let it go. Out the mouth. We'll do that three more times. Inhale, rise. Chair pose, exhale, release, let it go. Inhale, chair. Exhale, release, let it out. Inhale, chair, grab a hold. Exhale, make space, let it go. Half lift, inhale. Take an exhale, press back to a high plank this time. You can always drop to the knees for that supported plank. Hold it here for one breath in. And as you breathe out, we'll lower down and hover three to four inches above the ground for a chaturanga. Roll to the tops of your feet, press the chest forward, kneecaps up off the mat. Upward facing dog, take an exhale, tuck the toes, hinge at the waist, press back downward dog. Stay with your breath, inhale and exhale we'll inhale the right leg up for a three-legged dog and hold take a deep breath in take a deep breath out so the goal here for that leg is not to go high but to bring that left heel down planted towards the ground take a deep breath in and as you exhale begin to bring that right foot between your hands we'll drop onto the back knee for now we'll lift our arms up overhead supported lunge take a deep breath and shift your hip flexors forward 
take an exhale we'll frame that right foot tuck the back toes lift the back knee step the right foot back take a vinyasa which is your high plank or supported plank low plank upward facing inhale exhale downward facing dog hold it here for one inhale and exhale Inhale, left leg up. This time, press that right heel down. Spiral those left pinky toe, the left pinky toe down towards the mat to square off the hips. Hold and breathe. Take an inhale, look forward. And exhale, step that left foot between the hands. Drop the back knee. Sweep your arms up overhead, gaze towards the thumbs. Hip flexors forward, hold, and exhale, frame that left foot, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, step it, step it back, take your vinyasa, high plank, low plank, upward facing, downward facing, take three inhales, take three exhales, reconnect, and breathe. You'll feel the heartbeat getting a little bit faster. You'll feel the breath getting faster here. Just notice. Notice. Pay attention. Inhale. Begin to look towards the fingertips. Exhale. Walk or jump it forward. You can lift up halfway. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Lengthen the legs. Gaze between the thighs. Bend into the knees, sink the hips, arms float up overhead. Utkatasana, chair pose. Lengthen arms, inhale, sink the hips. Exhale, hold, embrace the burn, embrace the shake. Gaze up, inhale. Grab a hold of what you're holding on to. Exhale, hands to the heart, release forward, full, let it go. Four more. Inhale, rise, chair pose. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, chair. Exhale, let it go. Last one. Inhale, chair, rise. Exhale, release, let it go. Lift up halfway. Take an exhale, step back, supported plank or high plank. Take a vinyasa. Upward dog, downward dog, right into a three-legged on the right side. Inhale, and exhale, hold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step that foot between the hands, drop the back knee. Both arms rise, gaze towards the thumbs. Inhale, hip flexors forward. Exhale, step that foot back. Take a vinyasa, or you can skip it and go straight to downward facing. Left side, inhale, left leg up. Hold, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it through. Drop the back knee. Inhale, both arms rise, gaze towards the thumbs. Hold, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, frame that foot, step it back. Downward facing or your vinyasa. Upward dog. Downward dog. Take a deep breath in the nose. Release, let it out the mouth. Seal the lips here. Reconnect. We'll begin to drop down onto the knees, sink the hips back. We'll sit on our heels right now. Bring one hand above the heart, one hand above the belly. Take a deep breath in the nose. Open the mouth wide, let it out, let it go. <sighs> Create space, let it all out. Let it all go. <sighs> Feel the heartbeat with your hand. Feel the breath. Noticing and recognizing that this is our true power here. And we have access to this every single day.
And whenever you are ready, we'll plant the hands in front of us. Step the feet back into our downward facing dog. Reconnect to that ujjayi breath. Inhale the nose. Exhale out the nose. Seal the lips. Belly button in and towards the spine. Restriction at the back of the throat. Three seconds in. Three seconds out. We'll take an inhale, take the right leg up for that three-legged. And as you exhale, just begin to plant the right foot between the hands. This time, we'll pivot and plant the back foot. So you can wiggle out the back leg just a little bit further. We're going to bend into our right knee, sweep the arms up overhead into a warrior one. So bring your fingertips to touch here in front of you to square off the hips and then lengthen the arms up overhead. Make sure your weight's towards the knife edge of the back foot. Lengthen the arms. Inhale. Notice the shoulders. Are they shrugging? Press them away from the ears. Hold. Deep belly breath in. Deep belly breath out. Bend just a little bit further in front, in that front knee. Inhale, lengthen arms. And as you exhale, we'll swing the left arm behind our back. We'll sweep the right arm up above the head into a reverse warrior. Hold. Notice the rib cage. Press the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Try to gaze up towards the elbow. Legs are strong. Breathe. A lengthen the arm, inhale, and as you exhale, you can bring that right hand on your thigh, or if you want a little bit deeper, bring that elbow onto the thigh. Swing and release the left arm above the head into an extended side angle. Gaze up towards the fingertips, so try to draw a line from your left toe all the way up to your fingertips here. Breathe in and breathe out. One more, inhale. Slowly exhale, release, rise your chest here, lengthen through the right leg. You can bring your hand on your thigh, your right hand either on the shin or all the way down onto the mat, fingertips on the mat. Sweep the left arm up for a triangle pose, gaze up towards the thumb. Rib cage is not sinking towards the thigh, it's lifted up towards the ceiling, inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. We'll slowly rise. We're gonna to begin to pivot all 10 toes to the long side of our mat here. We're gonna bring our arms to a T. Open up the chest, gaze up towards the ceiling, take an inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna forward fold. You can bend into both knees if you need catch the ground or if you need a little bit more you can catch your big toes with your peace fingers and bring your chest closer towards your thighs try to gaze towards the belly button keep breathing here take a deep inhale take a deep exhale inhale rise back arms up to a t Take an exhale, pivot all 10 toes towards the front of the mat. So all 10 toes, press that left foot just a little bit closer to the right. We'll come into a pyramid pulse. So your feet are now about a foot width apart. Sweep the hands behind you, interlace the fingertips. If this is too much for you, you can just catch your wrists here. Open up the chest, press the chest high towards the ceiling, gaze up, inhale. Take an exhale, fold forward, bring the chest close to the thighs, release. Inhale, lift and rise. Bring the gaze up towards the sky, exhale, release forward, fold for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, breathe. Take one more breath in, release the hands. You'll bend into the knees to step your feet back. Take a vinyasa, your high plank or supported plank. Lower it down, upward dog, downward dog. Take an inhale 
and exhale. Left leg goes up for an inhale. Gaze goes forward and exhale, step that left foot through. Pivot and plant the back foot. Sweep your arms up into that warrior one, gaze towards the thumbs, inhale. Lengthen the body, exhale, press the feet down. Take a deep breath in, shoulders away from the ears here. Breathe. Ground through the feet, arms float high. Union of opposites, your lower half presses down, your upper half presses up, inhale. Take an exhale, swing the right arm behind you, left arm above the head for your reverse warrior. Rib cage high, breathe, gaze towards the elbow. Inhale, shift back forward, either hand on your thigh or elbow on the thigh, right arm above the head, gaze towards the thumb, extended side angle. If you need just a little bit more, you can bring that left hand on the inside of the left foot and lower all the way down. Your choice today. Breathe. Take one more breath and lengthen that arm and exhale, lift the chest, lengthen the left leg, hand, left hand either on the thigh, the shin or the ground. Swing that right arm above the head, gaze towards the thumb, rib cage high towards the ceiling, triangle pose, inhale and exhale. Reconnect to your intention here, slow down your thoughts. Inhale, rise, pivot all 10 toes to the long side of the mat. Arms to AT, open up the chest, gaze up. Inhale, star pose, exhale, release, forward fold. Catch either your big toes or hands in center. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale, slowly rise arms back to AT, open up that chest and exhale, pivot all 10 toes forward, step that right foot a little closer towards the left, about a foot wide, sweep the hands behind you, open up the body, so scissor through the thighs here, so make sure your feet are firmly planted, knuckles either press down and chest floats high, inhale, exhale, fold it forward, bring the chest towards the thighs. Inhale, rise, gaze towards the sky. Exhale, release and forward fold for four, three, two, one. Gaze towards the belly button, hold, breathe. One more, inhale. Exhale, release the hands, bend into the knees for support, step the feet back. Take the last vinyasa here, high plank, low plank, breathe, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, take three breaths here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, clear it out, inhale, exhale, let it go. Squeeze all of the air out to the pit bottom of the belly. Dropping down to the knees, sinking the hips back, lengthening the arms overhead, child's pose. Take a breath in the nose. Begin to release it out the mouth. Begin to release any restriction from the sealed lips, any restriction in your mind, any restriction in the body. So now that we've made space and we've cleared out a lot of the old, we're going to come into a more natural space into a space of surrender and acceptance. To be able to allow the new to freely flow in. 
So let go of the jaw, let go of the forehead, let go of the shoulders, let go of the belly. Let go of the legs and the arms. Natural breaths in and out the nose and mouth. Whatever comes up, let it come up. Making space. Whenever you are ready, we'll come through into a seated posture. We'll swing the legs in front of us. Keeping the legs length and long. We'll go out the sit bones. Make sure your sit bones are firmly on the ground. Lengthen the spine, sit up tall. We'll keep the left leg long here. Make sure the heel is planted on the ground, toes up towards the ceiling. Bring the right heel on the inside of that left thigh. So we're sitting up tall here. We'll take an inhale and as we exhale, we'll just walk our hands over towards the left leg, forward fold. Falling wherever you fall. You can also round out the spine for support here or bend into the knee. Take an inhale through the nose. Take a deep sigh out. The mouth, let it go. Beginning to just surrender here. Allowing whatever needs to go to go. Being ready to receive whatever needs to come in. Slowly coming back up into a seated posture. Drop the hands behind you. Lengthen the right leg. Rock the head side to side here. Drop the head back. Right leg goes long. Right heel down. Toes fly up. Left heel on the inside of the right thigh. Sit up tall. Lengthen spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Walk the hands towards the right leg. Forward fold. Deep breath in the nose, release, let it out the mouth. Gentle jaw, gentle forehead, gentle thoughts, gentle breath. Slowly coming back up into a seat here, lengthening both legs, hands behind you. You can bend into the knees, windshield wipe the knees side to side. Drop the head back one more time, swing the body side to side. Create the opposite effect in the spine. Let 
And whenever you are ready, we're going to bring that left leg in front of us here. We're going to bend it in a sort of 45 to 90 degree angle. We'll then swing the right leg back. You can keep the leg here just kind of like this little zigzag here. Or if your hips are open and prone to a pigeon pose, you're going to lengthen that right leg long. If you need some support, you can grab your block or a pillow. Listen to your body here. Honor your body. We'll take an inhale, press through the fingertips, lift the chest up. Slowly exhale, begin to walk the arms forward towards the tip top of the mat. Going forward and going as far as you can. Honor your body here. Breathe, inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Listening to the body. What is the body holding on to? We tend to hold a lot of stress, a lot of tension here in our hips. What can we release? What can we let go of to bring in more joy? To bring in more peace? To truly be able to surrender and to truly let go, we have to be able to trust. Trust that once we do let go and release, trust that something better will come in. Something better will be replaced. Slowly rise, gently and slowly here. Releasing that left leg, swinging the right leg in front this time. So you can stay in this little zigzag here, both knees bent. Listen to your body or you can go into full pigeon, lengthening the left leg back. Listen to your body. Take a deep breath in. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Slowly exhale. Walk the hands towards the top of the mat and forward fold. Deep breath in the nose. Release. Let it out the mouth. Wiggle out the jaw.
I don't know about you guys, but I struggle a lot with this posture. That normally tends to mean that I need to do this a whole lot more. <laughs> I do have a hard time letting go. And I know that I need to trust. Trust in myself. Trust in everything good. That everything is going to be okay. We'll slowly come up into a seated posture, being gentle with the body here. Swinging both legs in front of us and slowly and gently rolling all the way down onto our backs, bending into both knees, catching the knees with the hands, drawing circles, rocking the body side to side. We'll place both heels on the mat, keeping the heels a little bit wider than the yoga mat. I'm sorry, a little bit wider than your hips, almost as wide as your yoga mat. Arms to a T by your side. We'll begin to drop the knees over towards the left side. Bring the chin over towards the right shoulder. Making sure both shoulders are on the mat. Deep belly breath in the nose. Deep belly breath out the mouth. Slowly and gently knees come back to center and begin to drop the knees over towards the right, chin towards the left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Making the body heavy here. Slowly bringing the knees back to center and gently close, keep the eyes closed and just honor your body for the next few seconds. Does your body need anything else before the final resting posture? Listen to your body. So maybe you need a supported figure for a little bit more of a hip opener or just a simple good morning stretch by lengthening your body. Listen to your body. On your next inhale, give yourself a big squeeze. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Tell yourself, I trust you. I believe in you. And I love you. Inhale through the nose, deep exhale out the mouth, begin to lengthen the legs long. Let the, heat, let the feet fall in the opposite direction of each other. Place the hands by your side, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Gently wiggle the shoulder blades down the spine. Take a deep inhale through the nose. One more big sigh out the mouth. Imagine your body melting down towards the earth. Begin to take some rest.
We'll begin to wiggle out the fingertips and toes. Rounding out the ankles and the wrists. Gently rocking the head side to side. Slowly and gently waking the body back up. And whenever you are ready, roll onto your favorite side. Just taking one more moment to just be. We'll slowly come through into a seated posture to take our last breath here for today together. We'll inhale arms up overhead, gaze towards the thumbs and exhale hands to our heart space. We bow our head down in gratitude towards our practice. We'll bring our thumbs to our third eye. Give yourself a little forehead massage here. The darkness does not leave. It merges with the light. It becomes the light. Thank you for honoring your breath and your body with me today. Go be amazing. Namaste.